Hello all my servers, mates and ladies, today your host goes Red Wheel and also known as JimJ57 and welcome back to an episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Ride. Now today we're going to be pimping out the NS Windsor, which we got in the Ill-Gotten Gains Update Part 1. Now this car is really, really cool just because of all the paint jobs you can get on it. Now this obviously does not look like any other car you can get in GTA 5 because this car is very unique. Uh, you'll see when I pull in here and I show off all the paint jobs for this car, you can get like a whole bunch of decals and stuff all over your car. They're very different. They're um, more artsy paint jobs instead of just straight colors. It's very nice on the car. There's so many different ones as well as you can actually change the color of the decals that you can get on your car. It's really, really cool. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, let's prepare the vehicle. All right, so we're gonna max out armor, brakes, and engine right away, and let's see what we can do for pimping. So headlights gonna go xenon lights, of course, always. The neon kit, I'll buy the layout, but I don't know what color I want. I do like neon, though, so I'm just gonna get that in advance because I know I'll like it. Um, yellow and black plates, of course, now into respray. So the livery is what it's called. It's called livery or livery or, I don't even know how you fucking pronounce the thing, but whatever, that's okay. So as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of different um, I don't even know what to call them. It's like not decals, not paint jobs. It's just, it's just different livery, I guess, that you can get on the car that is just like all these different patterns. It's really, really cool. And I think the one that I had on there is, um, the one that I like the best. I do like these, uh, the, uh, geometric, um, one here, but there is some pretty other cool ones. Like the, um, the, both, the uh, Persis wings one here are pretty cool. Um, this, the Python and the Cheetah are both really cool ones. The Python? Um, I would actually try the Python, because for my other video, when I was showing off the cars, I had a pimped version of the Geometric here, but I might actually try the Python just for this video. Hopefully I can make it look cool. Maybe not pink and black, but something else. The, uh, the Ninja is also very cool. It's like, there's actually like Yetis mixed in with the camouflage. <laughs> if you look closely, it's actually pretty cool. But, um, alright, so now that we have the livery picked out, we can actually color it with different colors. So that's the part I actually liked, because the way it looked when you buy the car on the store, it just looked like you could have those different liveries, but it, I didn't actually know if you could color them, specifically the colors that you wanted, so I found that pretty cool. So we're going to do that now. Um, okay, so I can do the sides of the car first, and then I do the rest of the car. So this is going to be interesting if I can get pearlescence on this. I don't even know if I want. Do I want pearlescence? Let's see what the matte colors look like. Um, hmm. The red looks cool. The orange looks cool. Uh, this car is going to be hard to make look good. I don't know. It's just without without it just being a blank canvas because that's kind of boring. I mean, y'all obviously want to use the features of this new car. Um, oh my god, lime, is this lime green? Oh my god, <laughs> that looks horrible with the pink and lime green together. This right here is my watermelon car. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna. Hmm. Okay. Well, just to get rid of the pink, I'm just gonna put the. Uh, was it dark steel or whatever I just put on there just to uh, to better visualize it because with that pink there it just makes everything look horrible so I can't even picture what I want here all right so dark steel okay now what do we want for this car let's go back to the primary color uh, here we go okay I almost feel like one of these like bluish silvers or something would be cool on the car like it actually doesn't look bad but um, maybe maybe like a really light blue. The reds, the red and black is too like I feel like that's way too overused. I don't want to use red and black. Um, race yellow, that kind of looks cool. Uh, greens. Let's see what the blues look like. See that almost looks really cool on the car. I do like that gasoline green. Um, midnight blue, dark blue. See that that's like a cool. Hmm. Uh, Saxon blue. I don't know, I, w I think I want to go with one of the blues, not ultra blue, it's a little too bright. Um, hmm. I think I might go with that dark blue. I actually did like the way that looked. So we're going to go with dark blue in the car. And secondary, we are also going to go with the dark blue. But then we're going to change up the pearlescent, is what we're going to do. Alright, where's our dark blue? Um, and it's right there. Alright, so that, that, I think, looks nice. Um, like, it's just like the faint python is like underneath from, from the sides and stuff it's dark enough that you can't really tell but it's still cool so we're gonna go to pearlescent now um this is where we can make the car look really really cool all right i like i do like the blues i like the blues um let's see what other colors look like on there purple oh my god that looks i don't know how to feel that looks cool but like it also it just looks weird oh my god there's so many colors to choose from this is the problem with this car i don't know what to do I do like the orange. Orange and blue are always go well together. Um, maybe not. Ah, I think I might just go with the gasoline green. That makes it just a little lighter. Looks nice. 
Yeah, I gotta go with gasoline green. All right, all right, so we got that all done. Suspension, we'll drop that. Transmission turbo tuning, of course. Now into wheels, that is gonna be the hard part because I don't know what wheels would look good on this car. Um, what, what kind of wheels are on there already? Are those like sport wheels? Uh, I don't know, no, those were closer to high-end wheels. I kind of want to match the style that already comes with the car, but it's hard. Um, uh, there we go. I do like those. Split 10s. I think those look nice on this car. Or the uh, GT Chrome. I'm going to try the GT Chrome. Let's put some color on that. Oh, it's just on the inside. Actually, that's perfect. That's the... Uh, I do I do like that ring on the inside better than the full car. Um, let's see what would look nice in there. A blue? Blue rims? Or... Um, like just an alloy... I think I might just go with alloy rims. I don't even think I want to color the rims this time. We'll go with custom, no custom tires actually. I'd rather no custom tires. Bulletproof, and I think we're gonna go with a blue tire smoke on this one. And then all we have to do is windows, and we go back up, and we... I'm gonna leave the white neon actually. I'm gonna leave the white neon just because it kind of brightens up the underside of the car, but it's not too excessive with all the blue. And we're gonna take it outside, and I think we're done with this pimped out NS Windsor. So here we go, here's our car, as you can see, that nice shine on the side with that gasoline green. I think this car actually looks pretty damn cool with that python. Now this car, there's so many other ways I could have pimped this, just with all those different uh, livery options. But this, this one I do think is really cool with the um, with the python. Users can tell me down in the comment section below if uh, you have one of these online, or if you've pimped one out before in single player like I'm doing right now. Um, I didn't buy one of these online. Uh, all the ill-gotten gains cars are kind of expensive. All I wanted to buy was the Osiris, and it was already expensive as it is. So I didn't really want to spend too much money on this update for as, long, as far as my uh, online money goes. But I do like all the cars that came out with this update. They are really cool, especially this one. Just it's so unique with all those livery options. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You can tell me down in the comment section below if you like this paint job or what paint jobs you used on your NS Windsor if you have one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. And you guys can get ready for more GTA 5 content, Pit My Rides, and all that good stuff coming out soon. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, have a good day.